All right, so we just got done traveling down this slick as shit road to do a little herping. It's a little after 7 p.m. Warm out, wet. So it should be good for some frogs and salamanders. So to start off, we're going to flip some rocks along this creek here. This is Breakneck Creek. Couldn't ask for a more badass name than that, but it's not as dangerous as it sounds. And then from there, we're going to go up to the pond that's on that hill and see what kind of frogs are out calling. Maybe there's some spotted or Jefferson salamanders. If you end up, uh, or I should say if I end up making a lot of videos, and you end up watching a lot of them, you'll see me in this place a lot. It's pretty good. It's a pretty good spot. So, first thing to do is get past the barbed wire fence. Here we are. It's a pretty little spot. We'll probably do some fish collecting here too later in the season. There's a nice assortment of fish living in here. Let's get started. salamanders they slipped away uh, and now it's just getting too dark to even see them under those rocks so we're gonna head over to the pond that's over here and uh, we got a dip net so we're gonna a catch some and salamanders in here and I'm already seeing some egg masses too there's one right there on that branch there's a bunch of egg masses right there. Yeah. I see a lot of tadpoles too. Surely not from this year though. But the salamanders themselves are hard to find. They're not, you know, they don't have those yellow spots like the spot salamanders do. So they're uh they're hard to spot, quick to swim off. I'd like to get an underwater shot of one of these guys for you.
All right, so here's an eastern newt, a male, and you can tell it's a male because of that really broad tail that he's got wrapped around my finger. He's also got those huge legs in the back, those huge back legs for holding on, and uh, quite the pair of gonads on him too. You can see the, the black the black spots on his hind legs, those are tubercles also used to hold on during mating. Yeah, they're really cool when they're during the breeding season. These are the same guys you find running around the forest, the little orange salamanders. Newts is what they are, but you know. And uh, that's them in their juvenile stage. So they start off with life in the water. As aquatic larvae. There we go. That's better. They start off life in the water as aquatic larvae. Move out in land where they're the bright orange efts, they're called. That's the juvenile phase. And then they return to the water as this. So it's pretty cool. They start off in the water, move out in the land. Go back to the water. There we go. That's a good shot of them. That's the money shot right there. Beautiful. Love him. I'm gonna get some pictures of this guy. All right, so I've been out here photographing peepers for a while, and then I start hearing the wood frogs call. So I'm gonna switch gears now and start looking for them instead of the peepers. I got a lot of peeper pictures. I've seen a lot of peepers. So yeah, let's uh, see if we can get some of these wood frogs on camera. <laughs> 